Hi, my name is Gorva Dikari, and I'm here with... Mr. Hemmerling. And what is your class, and tell me a little bit about it. Well, I teach construction trades, and we have, uh, what we do is we build houses in here. We, they're about 24 by 12. We build the walls, the floors, the roofs, ceilings. We put siding in. We wire it. We bring light to the place. We put an electrical outlet in. We put drywall in, and then we deconstruct the house. So it's a lot of hands-on activity. Yeah, why do you think students should take your class? Well, like I said, it's very hands-on. It's very practical. Everybody's going to own a house someday, uh, good Lord willing. So, you know, it, it, at the minimum, it teaches them how to use the use some hand tools, some power tools, things like that, but then also how their house works. So we also talk about careers like crazy, so it'll allow them to explore careers in the construction industry, and it's a very practical class. And I'm here with Foster Edwards. And what do you think of Mr. Hemmerling's class? Uh, I love it. It's uh, super fun, and uh, like yeah, I get to learn a lot of new things about construction. So, sweet. Would you recommend it to other students? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's a good way to like kind of just have an active class that's like not a PE class or anything. So, uh, keeps you moving the entire time, and it's a good time. All right, thank you. Hey Westfield, I'm Brooklyn, and Mr. Shearer and I are leading a mental health session on the 23rd in the LGI during CORE. We're going to talk about how mental health should be more widely accepted among students and how it should be okay to talk about how you're really feeling. We're so excited to see you there. Make sure to come. It'll be I'm super fun. I'm here with fun. Mrs. Torvik, and she teaches creative writing. Now, what do you do in creative writing, Mrs. Torvik? Um, in creative writing, we write short stories, we write poetry, we have a choice assignment where you get to choose between, I think it's 13 different options like a one-act play or a children's story or songwriting. Um, and then we finish up with a final portfolio where you get to share all of your awesome stuff with your classmates. Now, why would someone take creative writing? Gosh, there are so many reasons. Um, first, if you love to write and you haven't had a chance to be creative in a traditional English class, this is a great place for you. Second, if you are someone who's working on college entrance essays or college application essays, um, it gives you a different way to work on your writing voice and your writing skills. Um, third, it's super fun, and that's not biased, that's just true. Um, and fourth, it allows you to do different kinds of projects that you've never done in other English classes. Now, what is your favorite thing about creative writing? I like that people get to really be themselves. You know, you can write lovey-dovey romance stuff, you can write creepy slasher stories, you can write science fiction, and it really allows you to work your own knowledge and hobbies and expertise into the beautiful craft of writing. That's a simple yet like complex um, answer I would give you, but again to keep it like really short, I had a friend a couple years ago who was into it and so I watched her from afar do it and then I had an, an, a, like a year-ish ago I had a friend who gave me my first deck and then I met another person who really helped me get into it to the point where she would say I am scary good at it better than her. So something you should know about tarot, this is just like a general thing people should know about tarot, is that they work in multiple different ways depending on how you see it. Like my one friend will just shuffle and be like boom that's it well, and like work off the images of it while I will usually work off like the actual meanings of the cards because each card has like a different meaning for it. But again you can like just, there so many ways you can do it. You can do spreads, you can do um, just shuffling picking cards at random, spreading out, like, all those different things. You can work off images, you can work off words, you can work off how you're feeling on that day. You just have to, like, experiment a bit about it, research, and then feel what, like, just whatever works with you, do that. Uh, so I have two tarot decks. I This is my first deck. It is a just classical-looking tarot deck. This was my third deck. It is a White Newman deck, which is just the creator added two extra cards to it. And that's why it's a White Newman deck. Nothing fancy, still a tarot deck. And then I also have an Oracle deck, which is just my advice deck and just gives me advice. And together, they work quite well. <laughs>
I'm Gus Fanner with Rock TV, and I'm here with Rylan Crum, Luke Gear, Mr. Ewing. What year did the Indianapolis Colts win the Super Bowl? A. 2008. B. 2005. C. 2007. Or D. 2011. I want 2008. C. 2007. 2007. That's correct. T3K. It's a trick-or-treating 3K race, and it's a $10 fee, and it's for, it goes to Riley Children's Hospital. It's on October 10th at 2 p.m. Check-in starts at 1.30 at Washington Woods Elementary School. See you there. Can't wait on three. One, two, three. Can't can't wait. I'm Hallie London, and I'm Quinn Siever. The theme for October is kindness. We want to reach 2,900 acts of kindness within that month. So we challenge you to the kindness challenge. Do random acts of kindness every day and spread positivity constantly. When you do a random act of kindness or someone else does one for you, grab a ribbon according to your class color and write your name on the top of it. Then, drop it in the buckets located in the front of the cafeteria, the learning center, stairs, or the front of the bistro. By the end of the week, we will collect the ribbons and tie them onto the learning center stairs. This will be a class contest that runs through the whole month of October. Stay tuned for details and updates.